Okay, looking at question two here, right? For question two, we see that we have uh, the green check mark is our correct answers. Oh, let me go back up here accidentally. Okay, so we see three plus four is, is uh, seven. That's more than five, so that one will work. 12 and 35, that is, adds up to more than 40. Two plus seven adds up to more than seven. So these are your three correct answers here, right? So if we look at that, right, we get we we can see how this kind of works here with these ones here. One, two, one, three, they work. Now, if we look at, at D, D will not work. 125 plus 75 is 200. 200 equals 200. So like the previous problem, you have a straight line. And those two sides would be lying right on the, on the 200 side. As for uh, number E, it doesn't work because 5 plus 6 is 11. And 11 is less than 13. So again, the two shorter sides have to have sums greater than the longer side. So that's the only way it's going to work. Let's talk about the next slide, right? Uh, all right, question four, right? If we look at this, what is the total number of unique triangles that can be formed with side lengths of 6.5, uh, 6 centimeters, and uh, 2.5 centimeters? You can only form one triangle, only one. Now, again, so if we said that this was 6.5, and this is 6, and this is 2.5, there's no other ways you can arrange it, because if you think about it, uh, this is not a second triangle. That's just a, a reflection of it, just like we rotate it up, up, upside down. It's the same triangle. It has the same lengths. So when you have three lengths that are, are stated and given, you can only form one triangle. Only one triangle. So let's go on to the next one. All right, let's look at this one right here. What kind of triangle can be formed given these conditions? Angle is measuring 45 degrees, 90 degrees, and an included side that is 10 centimeters. Okay, you're only going to be able to form one triangle, unique triangle, uni, one, one triangle. So A is your answer. Now, again, included. Included means it appears between the two angles. So we see here, right, 90 degrees, 45. It's in between them. Or if you see right here between 45 and 90, 10 centimeters. Uh, since this is 90, this is 45, they have to 135, which means this side has to be 45. So what we have here is an isosceles right triangle. Uh, so because the bases, the bases right there, the sides here are equal, and we've had problems like this before. So that's what we're going to be looking at here. Uh, so go on the next one here, number six. If we look at number six, the triangle has two sides that measure five centimeters and seven centimeters. Circle all the following that could be the measure of the third side. Well, only three, five, seven, and eleven will work. The other two sides don't work. Five plus seven is twelve. It means it can be forming up on that third side. Uh, one plus five is six. That's less than seven. So we're not going to be. Able, there's no option. So A and F would not work. Okay, last one. All right. Uh, for the most part, a lot of folks got this correct, but there were some folks who kept on taking that choice C. Uh, if you look at all the three triangles I give here, right? This one, and this one, and this one. They all add up to 180 degrees, and they all have three interior angles. Kind of had to have a triangle with only one, two interior angles. So you got to pay attention to what's given to you. All right? So I think that's all right there.